you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI news video. Now we've got a lot to cover today. I'm playing a little bit of catch up from last week since I did not get a news video out last week. So let's just jump right into it. And first thing I wanted to share with you are these new images from Mattel for their Masters of the Universe Mega Construct sets based on Masters of the Universe. So they're doing some vehicles and, and are continuing to do minifigures as well. So first of all, they're doing this set, which includes uh, a battle armor Skeletor and a mini Skeletor figure and a Panther figure. So your Skeletor can ride on, on Panther there. You also get the um, Point Dread set, which is pretty nice. And if you get the uh, Castle Grayskull, if you got the Castle Grayskull Mega Construct set, you can actually attach the, the point dread to uh, the Castle Grayskull, which is nice. And you can see uh, that also comes with Zodiac and uh, a, a Sorceress with all white outfit and a Zoar, all white Zoar, a little mini Zoar. So uh, definitely that's a cool set. They're also doing um, the second set that they've announced is they're doing uh, uh, Battle Cat versus uh, the Rotan. So uh, you may remember uh, back in the day, uh, they did uh, the little uh, circle vehicle. I, I can't remember if this actually ever showed up in the cartoon or not, but you know, the black with the red and it's got like the teeth that spins around and everything. And that comes with a merman figure, a little mini merman. And then Battle Cat comes with a battle armor He-Man. So um, the other set had Panthor and battle armor Skeletor, and this one's got battle cat and, and battle armor uh, He-Man. So. Definitely kind of cool, and uh, I really like even like the packaging. It's very reminiscent of the old classic toy lines and everything with the artwork and stuff. So I think they've done a good job with that. And then while we don't have actual images yet, they've announced another wave of single pack figures. So that wave is said to include uh, Tila, Stinkor, Evelyn, Fakor, and Fisto. So if you just like the figures and you're not interested in the vehicles, then you might want to check those out. Now all of these are available for pre-order now at places like our sponsor Big Bad Toy Store. And while we're on the subject of Mattel, we also last week got official images for the Amber Collection 6 inch Dennis Nerdy figure. So we knew this one had been coming, they teased I think it was what last year at San Diego when they first teased this figure. But now we have the official images and details. So overall, he comes with two different head sculpts, a normal looking head sculpt, and then one with uh, basically after he's had the acid spit in his face. So that's pretty cool. He comes with a little shaving uh, can with uh, which you can actually lift up and then has the DNA sample. You know, he hit the DNA sample that he was trying to sneak out in, in, that, in that shaving can. So you get that. So that's pretty cool. You also get uh, basically the display stand and a couple extra pairs of hands. So this figure is available for pre-order now and you know it, I think this is actually probably maybe one of the most anticipated figures in the 6 inch amber collection line. So uh, like I said you can pre-order it now and it will be out later this year. It is listed with a July 2020 release date. Okay and then switching gears to NECA toy. So I've got a couple things on the NECA toy front I wanted to share with you guys today. So first of all we got this uh, new listing for another Back to the Future Ultimate figure. So this is one that we actually saw at Toy Fair and it's uh, basically Marty from the first movie wearing the, the hazard suit but they call it Marty from space because that's what you know he's pretending to be like Darth Vader and such in the movie. So again, we saw this figure initially at, at Toy Fair, and now uh, Hobby Link Japan has got the figure up for uh, pre-order. Right now, they're the only ones listing it, but I'm guessing NECA will be uh, uh, putting it out for everybody uh, to soon be taking pre-orders for it. And this is a 7-inch scale figure. It's got Marty with two different head sculpts. He's got the helmet, masked head, and then there's an unmasked head. Uh, which has kind of a, a surprise look on his face. There's an in-scale Sony Walkman uh, that comes with it, and then also a, a blow dryer, which he uh, pretended was his uh, ray gun. And you have the actual, if you use the unmasked head, then there's also the helmet itself that you can have kind of holding in the head as well. 
or in the hand as well. Now that's just the fourth figure that we know of that's coming from NECA for Back to the Future. Uh, I talked about the other figures that they've already announced, including the Biff and the two other Marty figures. Uh, the regular Marty figure from the first movie, and then Marty, uh, future Marty uh, from the second Back to the Future 2 movie. So uh, right now we know they're doing four 7-inch Ultimate figures. I'm pretty sure they're going to at least do also Doc Brown, uh, maybe a few others, and maybe those details will be coming uh, probably maybe next month during their San Diego Comic-Con coverage. Some images surfaced online this past weekend from an overseas distributor showing us a look at two Godzilla figures that NECA looks to be doing. These are repaint figures of previous ones that they've already done. Now, I talked about this a little while ago back when Randy did his interview with Pixel Dan and Randy had pretty much said that that for now uh, they're not going to be doing a whole lot more with Godzilla because there's a new master toy license holder for Godzilla. Don't expect any kind of Kong versus Godzilla, Godzilla products from NECA. But he did say in that interview that he had a couple more things that they were going to be releasing and I'm guessing these two repaint figures are, are basically a part of that. So uh, kind of a unique look. So we've got the, the Belante Bile covered Godzilla and then um, also uh, this Blast Attack Godzilla figure. These have not yet been put up for pre-order here in the US, but I'm guessing uh, they will, and we'll probably get a few more details and a little better images of, of these figures and, um, and such in the coming days. Then also showing up in, on an overseas website is a listing for a new Terminator 2 two-pack featuring John and Sarah Connor. So the figures themselves are not new. These are just reissues. This is a reissue of the Sarah Connor figure, the ultimate Terminator 2 Sarah Connor figure we got a couple years ago. All the same accessories that that previous figure had. And then also they're re-releasing the ultimate John Connor figure that was released in 2019 as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. The Comic-Con exclusive version had an extra head sculpt and the dirt bike, which are not included in this set. But everything else that the John Connor figure had, including the arm from the T-800, his hacking device, and, and such, are all included with this figure as well. Now right now, like I said, these are only showing up on overseas websites. This is, comes from a European website that listed with an October release date. And, but I'm sure these will also see release here in the United States. Pretty much if you missed out on the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive John Connor, then you might want to get your hands on this two-pack. And then the final bit of NECA news I have for you guys today. So the wave of animated series Target exclusive two packs, the third wave, have been listed on the Target website. Now they actually have not yet been made available for purchase, but I will put links to all three sets. And just to go over it, we've got the April O'Neil with the Foot Soldier, the Leatherhead and Slasher figure, and then the Casey Jones with the uh, alternate Foot Soldier figure. Those are the figures that make up Wave 3. I'll put links to them on the Target website. They are supposed to be out this month, so I've not heard any reports of people finding them in physical stores yet, and I don't know when they'll actually be made available for purchase on the website, but probably uh, within the next few weeks, those should start becoming available for you guys. Tomasi Nations last week released official images for their Goku figure for their new Dragon Ball Imagination Works line. Now this is a 1-9 scale line. It's a brand new line that they're doing. They teased it a while back. I'm pretty sure I talked about it in a previous news video. With these new images, we get a good look at the figure. Again, this is a 1-9 scale, so taller than the SH figure arts but shorter than obviously a 12 inch figure. You get multiple hair parts, you get multiple eye parts, you get some face parts, so you can uh, change up the look and everything. Uh, again, it teases this line teases a wide range of movement and silicon parts for, for the joints and such. And this figure looks like it's gonna be released, this Goku figure looks like it's gonna be released in October of this year. Tomasi Nations also released official images for their upcoming SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Son Gohan Kid Era figure. Now this figure is going to be out in November and it's going to come with multiple pairs of hands, uh, four heads, and a Dragon Ball. So again, this figure is, I believe, available for pre-order now at places like Big Bad Toy Store. And if you're a fan of Son Gohan, uh, again, this is the Kid Era version, you'll probably want to check this one out. 
For you Transformer and Top Gun fans, it looks like we are getting a mashup figure from Hasbro. I don't know if this is going to maybe be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. We saw last year they did the Ghostbusters uh, Transformer mashup figure. Now this features, it's uh, in, in its vehicle mode, it's an F-14 fighter jet, and then it transforms into a robot, which they're naming Maverick from Top Gun. And uh, again, I don't have any specific details. These images showed up on an overseas auction website. So um, hopefully Hasbro will get around to announcing whatever this is. It, unlike the Ghostbusters where Hasbro was taking over the master toy license for Ghostbusters, that's not the case with Top Gun. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's actually Mattel is the master toy license holder for Top Gun, but they must have been allowed. You know, I'm guessing because Paramount is both doing the Par uh, Top Gun movie, the new Top Gun movie, and obviously they do Transformers and G.I. Joe and stuff, they allowed them to do this mashup figure. So, like I said, I'm expecting details to be coming soon, and if I just had to guess, a complete guess, I'm thinking this might be uh, one of their San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. And then also in Transformer news, we have this new comparison image that was released by the official Takara Toy Transformer Twitter channel. It, this new image shows a comparison of the upcoming uh, Scorponok figure, Titan class Scorponok figure, along with some other recently released uh, Titan class figures that Hasbro's done. So we've got a look at the Scorponok with Trypticon, Fortress Maximus, and Metroplex. And from this image, we can see that Trypticon is a little bit, or I should say Scorpionok is a little bit taller than Trypticon, but not quite as tall as Fortress Maximus and, and Metroplex. So really, I kind of feel like uh, Fortress Maximus technically should probably be the tallest. And then I, I guess it's accurate that maybe Scorpionok was a little bit shorter than Fortress Maximus. I can't say I remember 100%. You know, basically, uh, the the Scorpionok toy was the counterpart to Fortress Maximus, both being headmasters and stuff. So, um, you know, like I said, it looks like, you know, the, the two could go to town with one another pretty good. So, for me, no real complaints. Scorpionok was never one of my favorite uh, Transformers, large Transformers back in the day. But I think, you know, overall, they seem to have done a pretty good job of capturing the likeness of that original toy with this one. Okay, now switching gears to Star Wars, I've got a couple things I wanted to share with you on the Star Wars front. So first of all, just a little bit of a minor update on a story I talked about previously with the new Black Series packaging. There have been some questions about you know what Hasbro was going to be doing with the numbering with the new packaging. So it looks like they are going to be restarting uh, the pa uh, numbering on the packaging uh, with number uh, 112 is going to be the last number on the current line, which is the Kit Fisto figure. And then they're going to be starting from scratch, going back to one uh, with the new packaging and everything. So just wanted to update you guys with that. Hasbro officially came out and told us that. I, I believe it was last week. And then I've got a couple of rumors to share with you. So uh, some uh, basically some listings that have shown up on the EB Games website for some more gaming great figures. Uh, this information comes via Toy Time. So these figures should also be released here in the United States at GameStop stores. But in Canada, uh, these are released as EB Games, and it's the EB Games system that these have shown up in. So first of all, uh, Darth uh, Nihilus, has, uh, a listing for him has shown up, so it looks like we're going to be getting him for the Gaming Greats line. And then two other listings for the Gaming Greats line that have shown up are the Purge Trooper, which I believe I previously talked about. That's just going to likely be a reissue of the figure that was released you know, not too long ago, uh, but now under the Gaming Greats line. And then uh, the third one, which is a little bit of a surprise, is Django Fett. So um, Django Fett uh, has shown up in uh, some video games, so they are doing Django Fett. Obviously, they've done Django Fett before, an Episode 2 version of Django Fett. I don't know if this is just going to be a straight-up re-release of that figure in Gaming Greats packaging, or if the figure is going to have some modifications or what have you. Hopefully it'll be a little bit different. Hopefully it just won't be a straight up reissue. But we'll just have to wait and see. But both of those figures have, uh, along with the Darth Nihilus figure, have shown up in the gaming or the EB Games computer systems and should be uh, coming in the near future. And then finally, thanks to a listing that's shown up on an Australian distributor website, we have what looks like another Mandalorian figure coming. This is being listed as a build-up pack set. 
So, you know, they did something similar in the Vintage Collection line with uh, the Sith Trooper, where you got all these extra weapons and everything. So this is a Black Series figure, a six-inch Black Series figure, and likely, and it's listed as the Mandalorian from the Mandalorian TV series. So best guess is this is going to be one of the versions of the Mandalorian, only it's going to come with a lot of different or extra accessories that the regular Black Series figure did not come with. Maybe even the, the crib for Baby Yoda that, that, that Hasbro has been uh, missing out on. So um, hopefully we'll get more details on that. No images or anything. And like I said, you know, none of these have been confirmed by Hasbro, so you should consider it to be rumor. But you know, usually when we see these listings, they do end up being you know, somewhat accurate. Now we're on the subject of this uh, distributor, this Australian distributor. Uh, let's uh, flip over to Marvel News. And on this website, we have a listing for what appears to be some type of new X-Men wave. It is listed as the best of. And what is not entirely clear is whether this is just going to be a straight up reissue wave, probably only released overseas. We've seen Hasbro do that a few uh, different times or whether this will be something new. Now, the listing shows that the wave will have seven as of yet to be announced figures as well as the build a figure. The other possibility is we are this year is the 40th fit or 45th anniversary of Giant Size X-Men number one. So maybe Hasbro has something special in the works for that. I, I, I don't know. Um, so we'll have to keep, you know, again, this is a rumor. It's not confirmed by Hasbro, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see uh, more details. I'm hopeful that maybe it's a new wave, but more likely it's is just going to be a reissue wave that's released overseas. The upside to this is this wave probably will have one of the figures in this wave. If it's just a reissue wave, we'll probably have that rogue figure that I know a lot of people have been trying to get their hands on. They missed out on the first time. Now, for those of you in the U.S., if it's only released overseas, it's not going to be quite as easy, but still probably will help bring down the secondary market prices on that original rogue and what have you. But we'll hopefully get details on this in the near future, you know, maybe by July time for during San Diego Comic Con. We'll just have to wait and see. We also got for the Punisher and Bike set that we first saw at Toy Fair back in February. So no release date information as of yet. Uh, the images came out on Friday, but they were leaked out basically. Um, I, I, I don't have any details on when this set is going to be going up for pre-order. I did some checking, but again, I, I, I don't have any details at this time. Since these images are out there now, it's probably going to be in the somewhat near future. Again, this was a set that was actually shown off during Toy Fair. Over with these new images, we've got a look at some of the additional accessories that are coming with the set. So I'm officially calling this set now the Kill Crew Punisher with Bike because you can see uh, based on the new images, he's coming with that Viking helmet, which he he uh, wore in that limited series called Kill Crew, where he basically puts a team together, including the likes of Black Knight, Juggernaut, Foggy Nelson, and Thor's Goat. And, you know, you can see this cover, you know, it's the same helmet and everything and similar weapons. So you are getting some nice realistic looking weapons with this set, which is nice. You get two machine guns and a shotgun. You also get a machete and a baseball bat. The figure has two different head sculpts. We saw both of the head sculpts at Toy Fair, the, the one with the Band-Aid on the nose and then one without. Both look pretty angry. And then again, you get the motorcycle. So hopefully we'll get more details on when the set is actually going to be released. Um, but right now we just have the nice images to look at. And then finally, I teased this in my last news video, but again, I didn't do a news video last week, so I haven't actually officially talked about these. But Hasbro released all the uh, details for their upcoming Deadpool wave. Most of these figures we had previously seen at, at conventions and stuff. But now we've got the full lineup, so and we knew these figures. They, had, you know, listings had leaked out previously, so we pretty much knew what was coming. But I just wanted to recap again. We also got official images for all the figures in the wave. So uh, this wave is going to include uh, Juggernaut's partner, Black Tom Cassidy, Sunspot, Warpath. X-Men Deadpool in the blue outfit and then uh, the we knew there was a second Deadpool in the wave We weren't exactly sure what it was, but it looks like it's going to be pirate Deadpool Which is actually for a variant Deadpool actually is kind of cool 
we're getting Maverick. That one was shown off at Toy Fair. And then the, the final figure is uh, Sikla. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Uh, she's not a character I'm terribly familiar with, but I know a lot of fans of Deadpool know who she is and, and like her. And then with that figure, we get the surprise accessory. We get Gwenpool's uh, land shark, whose name is Jeff. So it's one of those cases where the accessory is not really made for the figure it's included with. But if you have the Gwenpool figure, then you probably want to get this just to get Jeff, uh, her pet land shark. And then, of course, the build a figure in this wave is a strong guy from X Factor. So if you're trying to complete your 90s X Factor team, this will be a must have for you. Now, this wave is now available for pre-order at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. They have it listed with an October release date. We could maybe see it earlier in some places. Already, that retro Spider-Man wave has started to hit eBay at incredibly outrageous secondary market prices. But that wave is probably going to see release than, than initially uh, anticipated. So, you know, I always kind of keep, especially this year, I always kind of keep these release dates uh, with a grain of salt. But right now, the wave is listed, that Deadpool wave is listed with an October release date and is available for pre-order. Okay, so that's it for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about in the comments section below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. Stay safe out there, and until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like hundred dollar store credits to big bad toy stores and remember action figures are great